Welcome to the Architecture Corner. My guest today is Gregor Wikstad, Enterprise Architect at Capgemini in Sweden. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Thank you, Casimir, for having me. Yeah. Uh, we have been reading a lot about Wi-Fi and privacy in the last couple of days. Could you talk a little bit about this subject? Mm, yes, I, I was uh, checking my Twitter stream just before we started here, and uh, I have a, a tweet from Pedro Rojas. Uh, uh, in how to protect your privacy when you use a free Wi-Fi. Is this a problem today or is it just something people are worried about that it's not the case? How worried should you be about your privacy? Does anyone care about your personal data? Mm -hmm. Or do they just want it uh, to create some statistics on you know, people in general and, and those who care about you. Yeah. Are we talking about the data when I'm uh, going to my bank or is it my location so they can see that I walk around in an area? What so, are so, we talking about? Well, the, 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 the first thing we have is uh, are these devices that just uh, uh, track your Wi-Fi. That uh, if your Wi-Fi on your phone is turned on, it will track your address and then you appear in some other location a bit later. They will track your address there and, and, and they will track you again. And, and in that way, they can build a map of how people move in general. But you can also, uh, you know, as we've seen in the last few days, uh, uh, you only need free credit card transactions to find out the person behind it. So, so even with very little data, you can, you can deprivatize it. And, and uh, so if, if, let's say I'm tracking locations and I have this person who always goes from house here to work here, uh, then it's pretty easy to find out who lives there, uh, here and works there, right? So, so it's, it's easy to use this data. Even if it's supposed to be used in a statistically aggregated way, it's easy to use it to find out about people, to find out that, okay, suddenly this, uh, you didn't go from your house to your work, you stopped on the way. Why was that? Uh, are you meeting a competitor? Are you seeing your mistress? Did you uh, get lost? Well, what's the reason? Should, should maybe you, you should get some Alzheimer medication advertisement sent to you? I had a friend who got uh, suggestions for bus travel in Stockholm to uh, Skansen. Mm -hmm because you were in that area every day. Is that an example of this? Yeah, that, that's, that's an example of, of where you have located a person and, and uh, you want to give location-specific advertisement to that person. And, and you know, it, it can be a good thing to get location-specific advertisement. Maybe, you know, if, if this person is, uh, is going to, to, to this place every day and, and never going by bus, maybe it would be great thing for this, you know, to know that, oh, I could have gone by bus. I'll try the bus next time. Maybe save time, maybe save money. Maybe, you know, uh, sit down and relax on the bus. Maybe that's a great thing. Uh, and maybe, and uh, I, I, I guess that, that's a kind of legitimate use of, of uh, this kind of personal data. But what we're seeing now is, is that this data is being gathered uh, without really your consent. And so you're, you're not aware of it. So when I was at the railway station and had a cup of coffee, they had a free Wi-Fi network that I had used before. Mm -hmm. They know I was there. Yes. They can look at my card mm -hmm. because I have a loyalty card and see, okay, he has been on that place three times and his this phone has been on this place three times, then it's the same person. Yes. Yes, absolutely. So then you can know that it's Cassie's phone, and yeah. then you can give advertisements uh, for you. Like, okay, if you usually come there at, at noon and you have a special offer, uh, you look at another web page at 11.30, and, and there's the advertisement for you, yeah. special offer, and, and that incites you to go to a restaurant maybe one more time that week than you usually do. Is this a different with 
Spotify connected with my mobile phone or tablet to the Wi-Fi network or I'm connected uh, via 4G via the telecom operators is handled differently. The telco operator, um, their use and collection of data about you is regulated by law. And, and they are uh, very strict about following that. Uh, these Wi-Fi hotspots and, and Wi-Fi detection and so on, uh, well, they are more or less so far, maybe they are regulated by the Data Privacy Directive and so on, but in, in practice, they have not, uh, they're not regulated. I, I don't think there have been any court cases or anything like that regarding this. So, so you're, um, it's much more of, 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 of their area than your area, so to say. Um, there are, uh, we had in the news uh, a few months ago that in Oslo, someone had put up um, um, ghost base stations in order to catch communication from uh, around the government um, quarters. So it's, it, it is possible even in, 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 in the telco network for, for uh, rouge operators to, uh, to do this. But you know, then if it happens, you know instantly that it's a spy. Because, uh, but when, when it's Wi-Fi and it is a company that is maybe not spying on you, just interested in, in what offer they can give you. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a slippery slope. Yeah. So I, I have a small uh, mobile wireless hotspot mm -hmm. and take that into a big mall and say, call it the name of the store. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then I can make people think, okay, that store has a free hotspot. So there were these researchers in London that, that did this and, and they, they put up a, a terms of use which included you know giving over your children to 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 science and you know whatever and and, and people use that and, and it could have been worse it could have been someone who wanted to get your personal details and, and if they know where that you usually go to this store they could put up a, a full space station there and and then you would log on to to some network so what, what's the solution I think there are, there are a few solutions number one is to turn off your Wi-Fi when you're not using it. And that saves battery also? Well, it also saves battery. Uh, I have a Sony phone and, and there, there's, the, uh, there's a Smart Connect module which allows me to... Uh, it, the Wi-Fi is only turned on in a location where I have uh, a Wi-Fi uh, network that, that I'm associated with. Okay, so it uses the GPS then? It uses the location information. Yeah. Uh, so when I'm at home, the, the, the Wi-Fi is on, and when I'm somewhere else, the Wi-Fi is off. So, so that makes it hard to track me, right? And it makes it uh, hard to, by mistake, connect to, to a network. So that, that's the first thing to do. Um, uh, there are also other apps. Uh, I can recommend, uh, for those of you who don't have a Sony phone, there is a Lama, L-L-A-M-A, -A, it's an Android app that allows you to set up uh, all kinds of events like turning off Wi-Fi when you leave home or turning off the phone at night, you're not disturbed and so on. Um, then there's another thing you can do to protect yourself um, and that is um, iPhone 6 has a feature where the, the MAC address the ad of your uh, Wi-Fi is changed all the time. So as long as you're not connected, if you're in one spot and then you're in another spot, uh, you will have a different address and, it, and it's harder to connect you know, this observation, this, this observation. It's like having a car with different license plates. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, I mean, it's, it's, I think that's quite legitimate to yeah. change your, your address because yeah. who really yeah. should know about it? And then the third thing, of course, you should do is, is to use a secure connection. So, um, when you log on to <coughs> when you log on to to some service where you need to log on, and if it's if it's not HTTPS, if you don't see that little padlock, yeah. well, and you're on the Wi-Fi network, don't connect. Yeah. Uh, uh, and if you have to connect, use VPN. Yeah. And you know that that's um, it's that that's not to prevent 
like NSA or something like that to spy on you. Because they can, of course, spy at the end point, point mm. of, of the VPN. But I'm, I'm not so worried about that kind of spying because that, that is done by professional organizations under the rule of law and so on. Uh, but it will pre it will prevent uh, malicious people who set up false base stations or even you know genuine base stations to from spying on you if you use a VPN. So so those are three things I think that you should do: turn off your Wi-Fi if you're not using it, uh, and you don't even have to do it yourself. Use some program to do it for you. Uh, rotate the MAC address like built in on iPhone six, and and use VPN or another secure connection whenever you're connecting to something. Thank you very much. It was interesting to hear about how you can protect your privacy when using Wi-Fi in public places. Thank you for having me on the show. Yeah. So thank you for listening to the Architecture Corner this time. <laughs>